In this video, I'm going to show you how to import your animation or your preset into Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you find a clip that you want to import into After Effects, so let's go for Circle 04. We'll select that and then we'll just press Import. And as you can see, it's going to pop up with this menu saying preparing to download. Now, the reason why we're getting this download menu appearing is because when you download a product, when you download one of your packs, AE Juice isn't actually installing every single file in that pack. It's only downloading previews. This means you can download your pack in next to no time. And therefore, when you want to import a specific file or a specific preset into After Effects, AE Juice is then going to download the files for that specific project rather than every specific animation. So as you can see, that is going to save you a world of time when you're downloading. And if you've got multiple packs that you need to download, you can see rather than taking hours to download, it should only take you a few minutes to download all of the packs. So that's an extremely helpful feature. It just means when you're importing specific sequences or specific projects into After Effects, you just have to wait for it to download that individual preset. And then as you can see, we're getting this menu appearing here. It's saying edit circle 04. Now I am going to get onto this in a separate video, but briefly, this is just a very easy way of editing that specific preset or that specific animation without having to go into the complexities of After Effects. But like I mentioned, I'm going to talk all about that in a separate video. So let's just press OK on that and ignore that for now. And then if we close down Pack Manager, you can see that is now imported into Adobe After Effects. It was really quick and really simple to do so. Of course, though, I'm just going to show you a few different variations to get that same project into After Effects. So we'll load up the Pack Manager again. And now the second way of importing your preset into After Effects is to just simply double click and that will just import that into After Effects again. We'll get this menu pop up, but we'll press OK, close this down and that is now imported. And as you can see, this imported at the point where the cursor was. So if I delete that, load up AE Juice again. If I double click again, you can see it's going to import at this point on the cursor. It's very handy. Now, as well as pressing import or double clicking, you also do have the option of just dragging and dropping this into your composition. Now you won't really see it working on this full screen transition. So let me find something a bit smaller. So I'm just going to go into this starter pack. And as you can see, we've got all of these smaller icons that we can import into After Effects. So let's go for something a bit smaller. Let's go for, let's go for one of these icons. So let's go for the map mark. So rather than pressing import or rather than double clicking the map mark project, you can actually just drag that across and place it somewhere specific on your composition. Now, again, this is just going to download. So that might take just a brief moment to download. So as you can see, we've got this edit map mark window pop up again. This is our simple editor, but we'll just press OK on that and close down AE Juice. And as you can see, it's imported one at the point where the playhead was, but then it's also imported over here where I dragged that into the composition. Now, the great thing about this is I can just drag this wherever I like and I can just change the scale position, do what I want with this. But we'll just go ahead and delete that. And the next way to import this is to import and replace. So if we right click, it comes up with import and replace. So at the top, you've got import. So if you press import, that's just going to download that and import it into After Effects. As you can see, if we pull this out of the way, it's imported just there. So let me just drag this to the very beginning. And there you go. You can see we've got that transition imported into After Effects, but let's keep our cursor at the beginning and we'll drag this over. And now let's go to basic transition three. We'll right click and instead of pressing import, we'll press import and replace. And that is going to download that preset, that transition preset and import that into our After Effects composition and replace the other preset that we had. So as you can see, if we close down the pack manager, you can see we now only have this transition in place rather than basic transition 01. The reason why that imported as white rather than yellow, by the way, is because down here you can see you've got this main color box and it's currently set to white. So if we set this to maybe orange, for example, if we go to basic transition 02, which is this faded purple, if we right click and select import and replace, that's just going to download that. It will replace basic transition 03 in here, and then it will add basic transition 02 into our After Effects composition. 
So we'll close down the pack manager. And as you can see, that's imported basic transition 02. It's replaced basic transition three, and that's imported as an orange color. Now, the next way of importing this is to right click and go down to import and create comp. And that's just going to import that into After Effects and rather than putting that into the existing composition, it's going to create a brand new composition and import this preset, this animation into the new comp. So we'll get rid of After Effects Pack Manager. We'll get rid of that. We'll press OK on the simple editor. And as you can see, that is now in its own composition. So you've got Compo 1 here, then AEG 3D Element 13 is a brand new composition. And then lastly, we have the animate button and the animate button is basically just going to import a random animation from your favorites. So if we look inside of the favorites pack, so we'll scroll down to favorites. You can see we've got a cyberpunk HUD transition. You can see we've got these cool liquid transitions. You've got this monster transition and this text animation preset. But if we go into liquid transitions and we select animate, you will see it's just going to bring in a random pack. So you can see it has loaded up the simple editor. So I'm just going to press OK on this. We'll close down AE Juice Pack Manager. And if I zoom in on this and play this back, you can see we have this random basic transition now imported. And that's been imported because we selected the animate button. So if I just go back into the Pack Manager, so AE Juice Pack Manager 4, you can see if we go into that favorites tab, you can see these are all the ones that I have selected. So it looks like it has imported basic transition 09. And there you go, basic transition 09. So it's imported a random animation from that liquid transitions pack that we have favorited. So this means if you can't quite decide which transition or which animation you want to import, if you press the animate button, then it will make that decision for you. Now, when you download a pack from the AE Juice Pack Manager, AE Juice is only going to download preview files. This means it's going to download faster and you won't have to wait hours for everything to download. But the problem is when you're doing it that way, as we've seen so far, is let's go into neon glitch shapes. Now, as you could imagine, there's probably quite a few files required to create an effect or a file like this. So if we try and import that into After Effects, you can see it's gonna come up with that preparing to download menu as we keep seeing over and over again. And if you know you're going to be using loads of files within this pack, then you may as well just download everything required beforehand rather than having to wait for this download option. Now, as you can see down in the free packs, I've got slides. This one hasn't been downloaded yet. So I'm just going to download that one. And as you can see, After Effects and AE Juice is just going to download that. But once that has been downloaded, you can actually just right click on a pack. So right click on this pack here and you can press this download button. And as you can see, this is going to give us a green download bar rather than a red download bar. This means every single individual file is going to be downloaded all at once within this pack. And this means when we right click and press import, it's just going to go straight into After Effects and the simple edit window is going to pop up because we didn't have to wait for it to download. It's already been downloaded. And there you go. Those are a few different ways of how you can import your files into After Effects from the AE Juice Pack Manager.